Okay, are you ready to have some fun today? We are going to do some watercolors with doodle art. And really, it opens up a world of endlessness, of just fun and creativity. So this is going to be our reference. I did this earlier, and we're going to try to recreate it. We may do some different colors, some fun things. All you need is a little piece of paper. I use the 300-pound watercolor paper. Um, but honestly, if you have, if all you have is a cardstock, you could do it on that. And, you know, my grandkids even watercolor on regular paper. Obviously, the, the better paper, the better results, but we're just here to have fun, so grab what you need and what you can. Then uh, I am going to use some uh, waterproof little graphic liners for our doodling. I like these because they do not bleed, but certainly you can use any kind of ballpoint pen or anything else after it dries if you don't plan on adding any other water. So this is what I like to use. And then we're going to use different paint brushes. This is a cool set that I got, and it's a travel set. And they come um, like this, and they just hold in this little pack, and they're so cute and fun. And then I have a little white gel pen because I am all about highlighting. Nothing is finished in my art world unless I've highlighted it somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, it's just an obsession. And um, of course I have some little artist tape to hold down my watercolor paper. Uh, but you can also use painter's tape or just tack it down with some regular tape if you're using just regular paper. I have two um, uh, containers of water, one for water on the paper that's going to be remain clean and then the other to wash my brush. So let's get started. Okay, this is our reference photo and we're going to have some fun. We may do some different colors, but this is what we're going to go on. I did this just a little bit earlier. We've got our watercolor paints. Love this palette. It's by Mozart and very highly pigmented, lots of fun neon colors and whatnot. Let's get going. Take your little pencil and we're going to start out with our first birdie shape and we're just going to do a little uh, half circle and we want it to be fun and whimsical so we don't want it real tight. And the other one and we just come up here and we make it fun. All right. So we're going to erase those or go over them rather with um, our ink so we don't have to worry about it. And then we've got our, our um, water here. And so all we're going to do is we're going to do wet on wet for this technique. So I'm going to wet the insides of these lines and just get the paper uh, good and moist. It doesn't have to be overflowing. You don't want puddles of water because it takes way too long to dry. And depending on the paper you're using, it'll really start some buckling. So. Um, and then we just start to lay in some little drops of color. And this is the fun part because this is where the crea creativity is endless. You don't have to be super artistic uh, to accomplish a really cute little birdie guy. Um, you just need to lay down color. And how fun is that? All right, let's get some down here on the tail. We'll keep on with this neon orange orangey pink isn't it oh I love this color it's so vibrant and I'm gonna switch colors and go for let's go for some orange a neon orange oh yeah oh wow look at that love this neon orange and we'll come along with it on the back and how wonderful is that? Huh. Oh, this is so fun. And let's pull in some violet. Ooh. Yeah. I love this violet color. It's so vibrant. And it doesn't have to be perfect in order to be so much fun, right? And like I've said in previous videos, remember, all art is not usually very beautiful in the beginning and that's okay because we're going to make it beautiful in the end so don't panic um, and just have some fun really any colors you want to put down it doesn't matter because it's all going to be fun in the end so there's one little birdie 
And you know what? I'm going to take, and while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and just add some tail feathers. And I didn't leave much room, but that's okay. It doesn't really even matter. I'm just going to add a few tail feathers so that we can also paint them at the same time. Uh, let's see, what color should we do the tail feathers? Let's start in with some purple. And these I'm doing a little more um, uh, wet on dry, uh, but it'll still capture the same feeling that we want to give. And then let's do on neon orange. Ooh, and that bled in, that's pretty, love it. And a little pink action. Ooh, yeah, fun, fun, fun. Okay, on to birdie number two. Let's do some turquoise. And let's first get the paper wet. And I already have some of that on my, my uh, brush, so oops, but that's all right. Again, you don't have to have perfection to end up with a really fun piece. You just go with it. This is just kind of intuitive painting where you don't really have a plan. You have a basic shape, but you don't really have to have a plan, and that makes it super fun. Since I do like to do highlighting, I like to do those areas that I plan to highlight um, a little bit darker because then I can use my whites and come in there and uh, you'll be able to see them much better. So his little belly is gonna be white. Let's add in some of this fun, kind of a uh, car carmine color. Ooh, oh, I love that color. And let's give the tail that same color, the back side of him rather. Okay, fun, fun, fun. How about uh, some neon yellow up here? Let's bring in some yellow around here and around his back. I think this is going to be the little female and this is going to be the male. We're just going to We're just going to say that. I used to have a bird when I was in college. For the life of me, I can't remember what the bird's name was, but um he was a little cockatoo, and that was a lot of fun. And he used to spit those seeds all over our entire apartment. Um, he was a noisy little thing. Cute, that pink in there, oh, I love that. So let's go ahead and use some of that pink on, the, on a couple of the feathers on the tail. Ooh, wow, look at how bright and vibrant that is. Yum, yum. And then we'll go in with the other, with the neon. This is actually called the neon red. And ooh, I love that. Okay, so there's the foundation of our cute little birdies like this. We're gonna pause, I'm gonna take a hair dryer just like this, and I'm gonna dry this. It'll be just a, a couple of minutes, and then we'll be right back. Okay, back at it now. We've dried our um, birdies. And a simple hair dryer works, or you can just let them sit. I'm gonna add in some little legs, and I'm just gonna come down here. I personally like two strokes for everything, because I just think it's fun. And then his little legs, his feet rather, just simple, nothing big, just a couple little claws that he's gonna hang onto a log that we'll put in. This little guy is gonna have a little bit shorter, and there's his little, his perchy little feet. Simple, right? And now we're going to outline them, okay? And outlining them just does so much. And again, I like to do two strokes around everything because I like things to look a little messy. I don't know why, but I just think it's fun. So around we go. And you'll see I'm not staying in the lines because it doesn't matter. It just makes it fun for me. Over here we go. Two little strokes around. And then around we go. And one more time. Yay. That's the simple basics. I'm gonna add in the wings. So this little guy, we're gonna add in a big um, oval-shaped wing. All right. And again, around a couple of times to give it a little messy look. And then I'm just gonna do some fun little 
whoopsie doodles here to recreate a feather type look. And on his uh, tail feathers, I'm going to just put some little lines in them. Okay, cute. And then maybe just a squiggle. This is where you can get creative. You might have something else you want to put in there, which is great. All right, for his little eyeball, I like to create kind of a little side view eyeball. And so he's going to come like that. And then I'm going to give him an eyeball right off of that. And I'm going to give him a little reflective block. And then I'm coloring in. Just coloring that in ever so. Oh, he's already turning out cute. Let's give him some little eyelashes. All right, very nice. And of course he needs a cute little beak. So there are lots of different ways you can do a beak. I'll do a couple different ones here. He's gonna have his little mouth open. There's his little beak. And then we're gonna put some little head feathers on him and I'm just gonna do some curlies up here. All right, so there's the basics for that one. Don't you love it? I think he's adorable. Here we go, number two. Uh, let's do a different kind of design for the side feathers and we're gonna give him kind of a little defined belly and then we're gonna give the side feathers just these little um, defined shapes. All right, cute. And again, let's give him his little side eye. And we just add the little eyeball right there and we'll give him a little reflecting dot in there to make his eye kind of seem dimensional and then color that in and a few eyelashes of course oops that's the one thing if your paper's not a hundred percent dry sometimes your um your pen will kind of get a little bit mucked up but it's all good all right on his feathers in the back, let's do some just little squigglies like we did on the side feathers of the other one. All right, and we're gonna come down on these uh, little side guys and just create like a little V. See, just a little V. So a line down the center and then a V line down the center and a V. See what I mean about not being perfect? It looks so much better when you're doing doodle art if you're not trying to be perfect, honestly. And just let your hand go and be creative and flow. All right, we're gonna give this one just a full beak that's just a triangle. So simple, right? Just a little triangle beak is all she needs to be adorable. Cute. And then we're going to give her three little plume feathers. And one more. All right. Oh, I'm loving them. Let's next go ahead and put in um, a tree branch. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of... Just freehand a little log here and maybe the branch is separating here and we're coming up and there looks good love love it now with that I'm gonna go back and do a couple of the lines that I didn't do my doubles on the, the feathers here and and even on here, because again, I like that little bit messier look. And then we'll get to highlighting and we'll paint our log. And we are almost near completion. See the difference and how crazy it is that it goes from ugly to cute so quick. 
All right, I'm gonna just um, add in some little log uh, grain here along the way of, or down the trunk of this tree or branch rather, and then just kind of some grainy runs in it, and then we'll paint it. If you don't have an archival pen that is waterproof, don't do this part until the end. Use your pencil and then come back in after you watercolor to do that. Otherwise, it's just gonna run everywhere and then you're gonna be sad because your birdie um, little painting will be kind of a mess. So here we go. Um, I'm just gonna use two different browns and I'm just gonna lay them down in here kind of randomly so that it has more of a natural look. And once again, this, we're not looking at perfection here. That's not the purpose of this. We want that random kind of fun look. All right. Yeah. You need to stop the video and catch up. I get it. I've painted so dang many of these birdies. <laughs> I think I could paint birdies in my sleep. And you know, that's the great thing is that it's just endless with the ideas. Oh my gosh, I've got some of the craziest birdies you'd see. And uh, maybe the next birdie video I do, we'll do one, uh, do them front facing because oh, they can be so cute. All right, so there's our little log branch tree. And now we are ready to do some highlighting. You can either use um, a gel pen or if you've got um, a white ink marker or even a paint pen, uh, whatever you have available. But I really do love what happens when you start to do a little bit of the uh, highlighting and just fun little mark making. So we're just adding some random little dots on the back side and maybe a few little on the underbelly. I'm gonna just create, um, recreate the waves of these feathers in here and highlight those. Oh, so cute. And I'm gonna give his eyeball part a little bit of highlight and maybe a little highlight on his back feather. I can come in here and do some little circles. There's, it's really endless. How fun, right? Love it. Are you having fun? I sure hope so. All right, on to birdie number two. I don't know that there's much else that we're gonna do on this birdie, but we'll give him a little highlight on his beak. And I mean, you can even come down here. I, it really is endless. So use your own creativity and add on to this. I'm going to make the uh, this one have some fun little squares, little rectangle square things. Just um, fun, not anything that's um, real structured. I'm just laying down some little squares here and they're not perfect. And then I'll put some little dots in between them just to break it up. There we go. Easy peasy, right? Let's work on his feathers. And I, th I think I'm just gonna just lay in um, some white in between. Yeah. Just recreating those little V shapes. And it creates that. Fun. Okay, I'm gonna um, add in some highlight on the eye and whiten in that little highlight on his beak. Come over here on the tail and do the same thing. Voila, I love it. Let's add in a couple of words down on the bottom. You can give this way as a little gift. Put it in a frame, put it in your room, give it to a friend. We're just gonna say, hello, beautiful. So, in big caps, I'm writing hello. 
And then I'm just going to do some cursive for the beautiful B E A. Ooh, I almost misspelled it. You beautiful. Okay, remember what we do on any kind of scripting. We're going to bolden in the downstrokes. And you don't even have to get those all the way colored in. Again, I don't like things perfect. Uh, down on the E, down on the A, and down on the outside of the A. Only the down strokes are we making um, thicker and highlighted. Like that. B E A U, down on the T, T, I, and let's put that, let's make that um, a heart where the dotted of the I would be. Down on the F, down on the U's, and the L. All right, I hope you had fun, and I can't wait to do some more birdies with you at the next video. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget, subscribe uh, to our page, our YouTube channel. Click that subscribe button and the bell. Leave us a comment or two, and even download one of your pictures. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.